everybody, what's up? Hey, everybody, what's up? So it's your your fruit and veggie mama here. This is, as you can see, the first picture. This is guacamole. No, guacamole. You know it's not guacamole yet. <laughs> this is aguacate, right? So I am making some avocado. So I was noticing that that uh, the avocado started to get a little bad. So what I did was I sliced each of the avocados. And what we are going to be making today is guacamole. So as you can see here, all of the different avocados, some may look, uh, let's see here, like they're getting a little bit old, but that is okay. All I'm going to do here is I'm gonna take out the seed as you can see now, it almost looks like it's turning bad. Some of this, I'm gonna just scrape right out and I'm gonna call it a day, there you go. So I'm not going to waste all of the avocado just because there is a few avocado that may not be as green. And I am going to throw these into my bowl, so. This is a very, very simple, easy way of how to make guacamole. And it's one of the most simplest, easy recipes that I can think of on a spring afternoon, morning for breakfast, dinner. You can have this, you know, with a salad, you can actually have it with chips and salsa. You see this here? Do you see that little darker piece right in there that's okay I'm just gonna scoop that right out that's where the seed had actually been sitting obviously and then I'm going to just take out the avocado and keep it going so I have a lot of these avocado you know what I didn't take count of how many but I just know that they were going they were getting really really soft and overripe and so I'm like, you know what? This avocado can last quite a bit. This one's pretty nice. It's more so uh, firm. And it was a little bit more, it wasn't that easy to get out. Now, as you can see here, there's, what are you looking at? This is a seed inside of here, okay? So I'm filling this up. And then I'm gonna also put a seed inside of here. You're like, oh my gosh, take that seed out. I will not. And the reason is, is because, um, I visited a friend many, many years ago, and her grandmother, um, which was from Mexico, um, not for sure the certain part of Mexico, but she told me to actually keep the semilla dentro de el aguacate para que se pueden quedar así bien verde y no se cambia tan, you know, el color así más o oh, el color oscuro. So what I did was. I kept the seed inside, and I don't have to keep all of them in, but I'm just putting this to the side. And the reason that I, what I just mentioned is, is that when I went to a friend's house just to kind of visit, the grandma told me, she was just like, you know what, in order to keep like your aguacate, your guacamole, you know, like verde or so it doesn't go bad as quickly, leave the seed inside because somehow the seed actually um, helps the avocado to stay green. So I was like, oh, bet. Like, I love it. I love learning new stuff. So, um, does it work? You know what? Is it proven? Like, is there science behind it? Please don't. Please don't ask me all that. I'm just going to use it because why? Because los ancianos, you know, sometimes the grandparents know a lot more than us. And there's not always going to be this, okay, how can you prove that method, you know, behind the things. And I'm totally, totally fine with it. I'm okay with it because I love a lot of what I've learned has come from older people, especially from like uh, the villages. And so, oh, I got one more. I got one more. And so, um, deep back in the woods and the villages, on the beach, on the islands, that's where I have learned how to make a lot of my foods. And I, to tell you the honest truth, I really feel like. Um, people more so from like the islands or different countries have their flavor of their food is just so much more rico. So here we go. So we have this here. It's kind of all green. And then I have some seeds in here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep really simple. So you saw, um, I'm going to show you some more of my tomatoes. So I chopped up some tomatoes, some onions, some bell pepper, and then I also um, sliced up some lemon 
and some lime and that was backwards <laughs> some lime and lemon and then of course I have some cilantro right so I'm gonna put some cilantro in here and then I'm going to I love this part so I'm just going to mash it all up where's my little masher I can't find it where's my masher when I need it okay anyway I'm gonna just stir this up because why the, the avocados are super soft so as, as you can see here I'm stirring up the cilantro with the avocados it's looking and it's smelling amazing getting it all stirred up in here as we go yes 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 okay so now I'm gonna put a little bit more of the cilantro in here next what I'm going to add is my chopped what do we want to call this pico right so after I like chopped all this up I'm going to add that get it all in now we're gonna switch spoons so I am going to mix this ingredient and guess what I like it because it's super fast once you get all of these other things chopped up and going it goes by super quick right so now that I have the pico de gallo can you see that I'm gonna move it back over here a little bit and now that you see all of this is going in here nicely I'm gonna add some lemons and lime One. Okay, so took a pause for the calls and here we go. So we have that in here. It's looking really nice. As you can see here, bringing it up a little bit more closer. You have your pico de gallo and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my lemon. So you know me, I don't mind seeds being in my pico de gallo, my guacamole, but there's going to be other people that will be eating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block these onions, or not on <laughs> onions, I'm going to block these lemon seeds from going in there. I'm looking at onions and I'm talking about lemons. So I'm going to just keep this going in here. How many lemons or limes do you use? Well, you know what? I had about, what, 10 avocado in here and I'm using the larger lemons. So you're just gonna have to do the math. If you like the sourness in your avocado, you can add, you can go ahead and add two or three depending if you have, let's say here, maybe four avocado, maybe you can use one, lot of one lemon or two lemons. But I had quite a bit of avocado, so I want it to have that nice, yummy, lemony flavor in there. But not too much, not too much because the cilantro will help with that, right? And speaking of cilantro, I'm gonna add a little bit more, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, look how fast this was. So once you have the tomatoes, the bell peppers, the onions chopped up in here, all you need to do is just start mixing, matching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, I know there's gonna be other people are, but I just want to add a little bit more of the jalapeno people the jalapeno so I'm gonna just put a little bit of jalapeno a little bit more jalapeno in here I already chopped up some but I, I want that little more a little bit more of the spice right going in there and so now that I have that I'm just going to mix it up a little bit more these are for the party people that can take the spice this is for the party people that can take the spice. Yeah, so not everyone is going to actually be eating this, but as you can see, it's rich, it's creamy, it's easy, it was fast to make, and it doesn't take a lot of time or ingredients. Onions, bell peppers, tomatoes, those are staple veggies that you can make. You can also add the limes in there if you want. I'm not going to add the limes, but what I am going to do is I'm going to actually, look at that, look. I mean, super amazing, I absolutely love this. So I'm gonna move some of these things out the way and 
But next, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get this ready so that it can be served for another time. So you can pop this in the fridge, you can have it for later, you can have it for guests, and it's just something absolutely awesome that you can have during a holiday, a birthday. Look at all this guacamole, look at all this. And this is gonna depend on how many um, avocados you're using. Here again is the seed, right? So I'm keeping the seed inside of here. I'm adding the guacamole, there's so much. There's so much guacamole for days. But remember, it's not gonna last forever, right? You're gonna, you're gonna have to eat it. You can't just leave it in here. Because <laughs> it's so cute. Avocado is so cute. A guacamole is so cute. Now, how is that? Anyway, it's, I love it. Like, it's beautiful. It looks amazing. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What you can do here is you can take your delicious and beautiful. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Like. This is just too cute. This is too cute. So you can add this to your birthday if you have a graduation and you're still waiting and you don't know you need that extra, extra, you know, meal on there. Boom. Boom. Avocado. And you can go ahead and add, what is this? These are just some organic sea salt corn chips and they're thin and crispy restaurant style tortillas. Uh, actually, if you use your um, card, depending on where you're shopping, they have a lot of discounts right now. So this is perfect for parties and for friends. Ladies and gentlemen, Fruit and Veggie Mama and Tanisha Portier, again, showing you simple recipes that are cheap. Now, let me tell you really quick, I brought these avocados. They were they were normally 99 cents, but then again, they went down a little bit more. So by, right around 70, 85 cents um, per avocado, right? Onions, bell pepper, tomatoes. I had bell peppers already. Um, I had an onion, and then I brought um, some tomatoes. So, and that kind of ran up to about two 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 hundred two dollars and fifty cents for the tomatoes. So, listen, this is what you get when you stay on a shoestring budget. You make it vegan. You make it plant based. You make it amazing, and you enjoy with your family. Okay, I am going to see you soon. I'm going to enjoy this. Along with this, I can add some lettuce to it, whatever. But you can keep it very nice and safe. I love this little packet here. And look, there you go. Hey, knock, knock, boom. I got some guacamole. Hey, hey, check it out. <laughs> check it out, boom. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, share, and continue to get more tips, ideas, recipes, and just hang out here with me. It's Nisha Portier, Fruit and Veggie Mama. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Oh, you know what? You like, taste it. I heard somebody like on the other end of the, mm-hmm. Oh, let me see. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good, y'all. It's so, it's so good, but let me see. I want a little bit of, I want a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. Just a little bit. Okay. Yum. Yum. Yum.